So here we have the Mazda CX-3 on a 66 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car. And then we'll hop in and run through some of the controls on the inside of it. From the outside, you can see it's a five-door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows. We're going to start off inside the boot area of the car first. As we approach the back of the car, you can see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further again. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car. And then we'll hop in and as I mentioned, just run through a few of the controls on the inside of it from there. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard. So let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials first of all. Over on the left hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the center and over on the right hand side, the fuel gauge for the car. Within the rev counter, you can see the total miles there, 45,011. If we back out to the steering wheel next, we've got our stereo controls on the left hand side, uh, cruise control and speed limiter over on the right hand side. And then over to the center, the main screen for the car. We're on the settings menu at the moment, just there. Uh, all the movement you see me making on the screen is being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So you can go back to the home screen from here at any time. Uh, we are currently highlighting satellite navigation. Push the dial down to enter the sat nav menu and you can see there, Really nice display. You can use, again, the dial to navigate your way around the options at the bottom. You can pair up your phone, of course, which we're not going to do at the moment. And we have our entertainment menu. Uh, so you can see we've got FM, AM, and DAB radio. A couple of Mazda-friendly apps just here. And then Bluetooth audio and two USB inputs. So if you plug devices into either or both of those, they will be accessible from here. Working our way down, uh, we have, first of all, heated passenger and a heated driver's seat, both with three separate heat settings on each. You can control your fan speed from here, the direction the air is being distributed in, over this side, and of course the temperature on that left-hand side. Air conditioning is on at the minute, so you can turn that off. Back on again. You can also recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set over here. If you wish to, you can turn the fan speed to auto, and the fans will take full control to maintain the temperature you've asked for. And you can do exactly the same with the direction of the air as well. We have our CD player, a 12 volt charging socket, auxiliary input, and two separate USB inputs just there. Uh, and then we have the gear lever for the six speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Surrey Specialist Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.